was reading the Bible uh, this morning. I was reading the book of Matthew again, and there's a specific part that I wanted to share um, that I think is really powerful and I think um, needs to be touched on. And it's from Matthew 5, uh, verse 13. Uh, and it's, it's when Jesus is talking about um, the salt and the light. And I'll go ahead and read this passage and then kind of explain um, why I think it's so important and so valuable. Okay, um, It says, teaching about salt and light. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it, ha- if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. Okay, um, I think, you know, personally, what, what I think this is saying and why I think it's so important um, is I think that it's basically a calling to purity. It's a calling to, you know, actually being your true self. Um, it seems like nowadays no one is actually themselves. No one is actually being them true selves. They're not um, expressing or creating how they actually want to. Uh, they're kind of trying to fit into some idea, some ideology, some way that they know that people will like um, how they're presenting themselves. So, you know, and that could be seen as like cool kids or jocks or even goths or emo Or, you know, there's all kind of things like, you know, being super Republican or super liberal or whatever it may be. You know, people are spending so much time identifying with, you know, some kind of opinion or expression as opposed to actually being themselves. And then on the other hand, there's another issue with people being too scared to share their thoughts and their opinions. You know, there's a lot of anxieties around, you know, being your true self and and giving true expression and trying to help. Let me turn this fan off. And and you know, with this it says that you you don't light a lamp and put it under a basket. And I'm not telling everyone to go share all of your opinions because I think most opinions are not well thought out and shouldn't necessarily be shared. But if you have the calling to help someone or to share something that may be a benefit for one person, then I think you should do it. Because, you know, I've been I've been thinking about this a lot and, you know, I'm I'm a personal trainer and I've started, you know, a training company where I'm trying to like touch as many lives as possible. And I'll get so fixated on the numbers that I'll forget to realize that each number is a person. And that each person has a life just like mine. And, you know, think about how valuable your life is to you. Like your life is everything. And think about the people that have played a role in making your life better. Those people are invaluable to you, right? And so whenever you have the power to share something that could help one person, you're not just helping one person for a moment. You're potentially helping one person for a lifetime. Through one good deed, through one true expression, through one act of, you know, help or kindness or, you know, apprenticeship, mentorship, something like this you're potentially changing their lives forever. And and I've had people in my life that have completely changed my life forever. I've had people both in person and then people both online that have changed my life forever. And so, you know, that's what I think the message of this is, is, you know, you are a light. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives the light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father. And, you know, I guess the message for today is just, 
you know, share, um, be yourself, help as many people as you can, let go of the worries of the world, let go of the idea of material, let go of the pursuit of, you know, opinion and being liked and things like this. And instead pursue the wholesome pursuit, the spirit pursuit, the, you know, the, the meaningful pursuit of shining light into the world. And if you, you know, if you're able to help one person every day, that's either 365 times that you're helping one person or that's 365 people that you're helping in a year. Um, and that's a lot, you know, either you're really changing one person's life or you're changing a lot of lives potentially for the better. And so, um, that's the message that I wanted to share today. Um, I think it's pretty important. Uh, and you know, it's something that I have to remind myself of, um, you know, focus more on shining your light as opposed to, um, numbers and opinion and success and material and attainment and things like this and let go of your worries. And if you're able to, if you're able to help one person, um, you'll have a good day. So shine your light, go be awesome. I'll see you later.